Action. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Jean-Paul Langlois. I'm an artist, painter, uh, born and raised on Vancouver Island, uh, currently living in Vancouver, but currently doing a residency in uh, beautiful Dawson City, Yukon, which is uh, the home of the uh, Trondic Quechan First Nation. What was my favorite book as a child? Well, there was a lot of like children's books that I liked, like uh, The Affable, Amiable Bulldozer Man or uh, Alligator Soup. It's another classic, but I, I became a pretty serious reader. I mean, I was reading the Paddington series or Latin which in the wardrobe pretty young. But my main thing, um, I was just reminiscing about the, the elementary school library when I first went to Brentwood Elementary. She, uh, she took me in and, and showed me around and I was obsessed with uh, fantasy, so she showed me The Hobbit. And uh, even though I was six and I couldn't, I had a hard time with it. I, I, I dragged it around with me for years. She let me like always have uh, like return it late, and she never, never really gave me trouble for it because she knew I was trying so hard to get through it. So I think it took me like you know a year and a half, and and had to get my dad to help me a lot. But The Hobbit was definitely a favorite, and Tolkien is still a favorite. I, I go back and read Lord of the Rings every few years. So. What is a recent book that I've read? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what I brought up with me to Dawson. The books that I am, the one that I'm currently reading is the new Walter Mosley. I don't know if you can see that. The Awkward Black Man. Um, it's short stories, but they're great. I don't, I'm not really a huge fan of short stories, but Walter Mosley is my second favorite uh, author. So I'm about halfway through that, really enjoying that. Um, I, uh, I just finished rereading uh, Chronic City by uh, Jonathan Lethem. He's uh, one of my favorite authors. Um, he's definitely, it's, it's pretty good, but my favorite one by him is called Fortress of Solitude. Um, I've reread that one a few times. And then my, uh, my art project that I'm doing for the Dawson City Residency is uh, all around um, White Fang and, and the connection of Boy and his dog to me, because I also have a dog. And uh, spent a lot of time in, in uh, Meads Creek, Cowichan. So uh, I sort of I know what it's like to be out in the wilderness and away from people and just have company with your dog. So I'm uh, I brought this up. I don't know if you can see it. It's got the it's Jack London's uh, Jack London stories. So it's just a selection of stories, including Call of the Wild. So uh, <clears throat> I I've hit that a few times, but uh, I'm going to read it on the way home, I guess. My favorite all time author is uh, William Faulkner. Um, I love The Reverse, it's my favorite book, but um, uh, Intruder in the Dust and The Unvanquished is probably a close second. So I love Toni Morrison. She's one of my favorites. I've read everything by her and I've read Beloved probably seven times or something like that. Um, I love Graham Greene, uh, Patricia Highsmith. Um, I love lots of noir cheap dime like paperbacks. Um, I just found the old uh, Robert E. Howard Conan series in paperback, which are really hard to find. And they're just so out of date because they're quite sexist and racist and, you know, but uh, I, I kind of I take comfort in that kind of stuff because it just shows you why we're in the world that we're in right now, right? So that's how it used to be, so. Walter Mosley as well, he's uh, he's African-American author. He writes a lot of mystery stuff. He's Rollins series, and um, I think he won the Crime Writer of America Award, you know, 20 times in a row. But he talks about race a lot, and uh, I, I, uh, that stuff comes up in my work. I'm, I'm Métis myself, so my grandfather went to residential school. Um, that stuff comes up a lot in my work. So, um, yeah, that's a few of my favorite authors. What other resources do I use from the library? Um, I used to get a lot of DVDs uh, when I lived in Cowichan. There's a beautiful new library in Cowichan Lake, and, or Lake Cowichan. And then there's also the beautiful library in Duncan. Um, so yeah, I used to get DVDs, uh, CDs on tape, or books on CD um, to listen to in the car. So you, of course, living in Cowichan, you do a lot of driving. So, um, so yeah, that as well. Um, I mean, currently I'm, uh, I, uh, have a 
Emily Carr library card. Uh, and it's right across the street from me in Vancouver. So I'm able to get these beautiful big coffee table books, the kind of reference books that you're actually allowed to take them home there where, where uh, you know, usually at the library books that are that nice, you sort of got to hang out and spend some time and, and read, which I, I used to love doing now when I had time to do it when I was in Cowichan or Victoria. How does my life story affect the types of books I'm drawn to? I grew up, my, my mom's white, but she always, my stepdad was Cree, my dad is Métis. Um, so indigenous issues and, and the rights of, of uh, downtrodden people and has always been uh, important to me. Or I remember, again, that first uh, elementary school librarian, she, when she first introduced me, she said, what are you interested in? And I was into the band Kiss at the time. And, uh, and she says, where's the Kiss section? She said, well, we've got a music section, so I'll take you to the rock and roll section. And there's three books. It was Elton John, Cher, and then Stevie Wonder. And, uh, and I remember like the first line of that is, uh, you know, the day that Stevie was born, his mother cried because he's born um, black, blind, and poor. And, uh, you know, I was probably six when I read that, and it really resonated. And uh, so I, I've known about the civil rights movement my whole life, really. Um, my mom is a social worker and tirelessly works uh, on the reserve trying to keep Indigenous people, uh, from prevent them from going to jail by helping them through the court system. So I've, I think I, I, race and, uh, and, um, and trying to keep people you know, equal has been is always important. So I think that's why I'm attracted to Faulkner, definitely Walter Mosley um, and, uh, and Toni Morrison. For sure. I just recently read uh, The Inconvenient Indian by Thomas King, which is uh, excellent. I haven't read that much Indigenous uh, authors, but I just got a, a uh, um, it's called a uh, Women's Warrior coloring book that I got at some art book fair. And it has uh, had all these interesting women, Indigenous women I'd never heard of. So I started researching them. And apparently, a lot of them have uh, biographies or, or autobiographies. Even so, I'm going to actually see some of those out. What does the library mean to me? Um, I think it's a super important community resource. Um, I thought during COVID, it should have they just should have figured out some way to to keep it open no matter what, and hire hire more people in there with full body suits to clean off the books, and because I think that's a much more important resource than say Tim Hortons or, or, or Walmart, but uh, I guess people got to eat and have toilet paper. So, um, but yeah, I think it's, uh, it's number one before hockey rinks and, uh, and yeah, even, even a lot of surgery, I think the library comes first before hospitals for me anyway. I mean, what does this latest project taught me about literature? Well, it's funny the uh, the Jack London book. Uh, it's when I when I applied for the the uh, um, for the residency. A lot of my work is uh, appropriated from film. Film's another thing I'm quite passionate about. And so I had seen the White Fang uh, Spaghetti Western 1973 Spaghetti Western version, and I based all of my ideas about Dawson City and the story of White Fang on this this film version, and then. They accepted me, and so I figured I should run out and, and buy a copy of it and read it. So, uh, and then I did. I ran out. There was two different copies. There was a, a, a skinny, cheap copy for about three bucks, and then there was a nice leather-bound edition. I got the cheap copy because I often read in the sauna, and uh, and I wreck books. So I was reading it. And I thought this book is terrible. And it had these childish sort of illustrations, and it was just really poorly written. It was. And so I read the whole thing. It's still quite violent and, uh, and, and some eloquent moments anyway. And then I realized I was actually reading the scholastic version for uh, grades five to seven, right? Abridged. And so then I went back and got the nice leather bound edition and read that. And it was just horrific, just the uh, suffering and, uh, and hardships that, that poor White Fang and his mother and the other dogs go through. It's just, just brutality. Um, I cried while reading that book. I, uh, so, you know, it's nice that literature is there to support whatever you're working on. You know, there's always something you can grab to 
My name is Jean-Paul Langlois. I'm a Vancouver artist, uh, Métis ancestry, and I strongly believe in strong libraries, strong communities. <laughs>